Frederick of Denmark, aged 55, was traveling with his daughter Princess Isabella, while Mary Donaldson, aged 51, was in Australia with her young children. The reason for the secrecy surrounding their movements remains unclear. However, it is evident that Frederick and Mary's Christmas celebration holds great significance for them. Published photos of Crown Prince Frederick in Madrid with Geneva Casanova have sparked speculation and scrutiny of their marriage. Martine de Russo, a former partner of Frederick, has claimed that they are just friends, but her whereabouts are currently unknown. In the meantime, it appears that the royal couple is trying to divert attention by staging a reunion in New Zealand, surrounded by secrecy. Mary packed her bags and traveled with her children, twin princes Vincent and Josephine, aged 12, to Australia, while Frederick attended the COP28 climate summit in Dubai and carried out official duties in his country. They aim to evade media attention amidst the turmoil affecting their marriage, which has been subjected to criticism and serious accusations. Mary's only public appearances in recent days were through her foundation's social media accounts, where she shared messages about love, care, and the foundation's donation to social gardens for disadvantaged individuals. Despite being apart, both Frederick and Mary attempted to maintain a sense of normalcy during this difficult time. However, the expressions on Mary's face during various official events have sparked discussions. Undoubtedly, this behavior was the main focus of attention following their 10-day separation. Queen Margaret's son, who was traveling with Princess Isabella, landed in Queenstown, New Zealand, where Mary's father, John Donaldson, is believed to reside. Photographers captured their reunion after weeks of rumors about a possible separation. Mary was seen wearing simple black pants, a long-sleeved blue blouse, and dark sunglasses on the airport runway. She later met a black van. The photos also revealed her neatly tied hair and her firm grip on a Ralph Lauren bag worth over 6,000 euros. Federico, on the other hand, attracted much attention with his plaid jacket and a blue scarf matching Mary's shirt. He also wore bright, polarizing sunglasses that reflected the light. It's worth noting that the couple's eldest son, Christian, is no longer in Australia. As the heir to the throne, he attends a high school in Copenhagen and has expressed his commitment to spending a few days with his family before Christmas. Controversially, some media outlets have suggested that the entire family may skip Queen Margaret's annual reception at Marcellus Board Castle in Aarhus, which begins on December 19th. It remains to be seen if they are willing to let the storm pass. The Danish media has issued a stern warning to Frederick of Denmark amid allegations of an affair. The storm surrounding the Danish royal family intensified when photos of Crown Prince Federico and Geneva Casanova alone together in Madrid were made public. Some media outlets have accused the royal house of covering up the controversy and have called for the future king to be held accountable. They claim that government organizations are also involved in the cover-up, including the prince's participation in a singing contest called The Masked Singer. An investigation by Extra Badat suggests that Frederick received full institutional support for his controversial activities in Madrid, with a Danish embassy card facilitating his movements in the city.